Hey there guys, it is Kim George, uh, the founder of Your Chic Geek from YourChicGeek.com and I uh, wanted to do this quick video tutorial using Active Campaign, which is the email service provider that I'm using to grow my email list to show you how to create an email list, okay? How to create an email list. So obviously the first thing that you need to do if you have not done this already is to head over to the site um, you can head over to, uh, you know, using yourchicgeek.com backslash active campaign, or you can click the video uh, link, the link below this video to get there um, to head over to sign up for an account. Now, the one thing that I do love about active campaign is that you can actually try this service out for free. And I think it's free for about 30 days or so. I'm not really um, sure. I, I can't remember. But um, I, trust me, once you, once you start using this service, you're going to really love it. You really, really are. So, but what I wanted to show you today in this little tech tutorial really quickly is how to create an email list. So let's go ahead and get off into this. So after you have uh, signed up for an account or even if you tried it for free, also it's 14 days, okay, and there's no trial required. But um, again, it's, it's, it's really a, this is a powerful, powerful, powerful um, email marketing system that I decided to use after switching over from AWeber. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to use this tool is because of just, again, the advanced automation features that you get with Active Campaign, where um, you don't have to pay a lot of money to use the system and it's just as powerful as uh, some of the advanced email marketing systems like Infusionsoft but from what I'm hearing from, from folks that use Infusionsoft is that it's really uh, difficult to navigate and all that kind of stuff well Active Campaign really makes it super easy to um, set things up in an automated fashion and all that kinds of stuff to really grow your email list like it's, it's super powerful okay but anywho what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to the back end of my active campaign account to show you how to create a an email list or how to start one okay first thing you wanna do is to click over on this button where it says add new list then um, what you wanna do is to name your list so I'll just name this uh, geek uh, test email list Okay, then it's going to ask you to put your um, sender address. So this is going to be, of course, your mailing address or um, whatever it is that you want to put here. Okay, if you have a PO box, whatever it is that you're using for your brand or for your business, you want to add that information there. And then the next question is to what website URL is this list used for? So I'm going to put yourchicgeek.com because that is the site that this is going to be used for. And then it's asking to um, remind your contacts why they are on this list and why you are emailing them. So I usually just put something, you are receiving emails from yourchicgeek.com because you uh, subscribed to my mailing list okay and that's pretty much what you do so the next thing you want to do um, of course is to click create list okay all right so that is pretty much it now the next thing that you want to do and I probably should have said this is um, you want to create a form and tie your form into your email list okay the list is one thing but in order to get people to uh, opt in or give them a place to opt in to your email list you need to have a form associated with your email list so to create a form and active campaign what you will need to do is to click on forms okay alright so then you're gonna click on new form and uh, you'll just name this uh, test your chic geek form or something like that. I what I would recommend doing is I totally forgotten the name, <laughs> but uh, name it pretty much the same thing as your um, email list. Okay, whatever your email list is, just associate the same name with the uh, the same the same name with your form. Okay, so we want this to be an inline form, and that's pretty much all we're going to be using. Um, you know, one of the the upgraded or the pro or the enterprise features or whatever they have this you know, all these different things. I don't really need that because typically what I'm using my forms for is to integrate them with my landing pages. So <clears throat> just click to select, excuse me, an inline form. And then where it says action, subscribe to list. Let's see. Uh, yep, so it's going to be subscribe to list. 
Okay, and then the options, it says select a list. So we're going to go and look for the list that we just created, which is uh, yeah, the Your Sheet Geek Test email list. Okay, so let's just do this. Your Sheet Geek Test email form. I just kind of like to line things up just to kind of have the uniformity. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is click Create. All right, so it's going to start building out your form, and this is where you would come in order to kind of dress up your form and just do different things. Now, what I typically do, and this is a rule of thumb, this is just for me, whenever somebody, someone signs up to um, opt in for my email list or they sign up for one of the freebies that I'm giving away, whatever it is that I'm giving away from my website, I like to use the person's first name. I just really think it personalizes your emails when you're communicating with people. And so I really don't like using the full name. It's something about that that really turns me off. Like I, it just doesn't work for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in order to change this, I'm going to remove this tag here that says a full name. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and I'm going to drag this item that says first name to the top. Okay. So now we have first name and then we have the email address and that is exactly what I want now if you're planning to embed this maybe in the sidebar of your WordPress blog or your WordPress site and all of this kinds of stuff you can definitely click on style to style your form to add different colors and all of that kinds of stuff I don't really want to do that so I'm just gonna keep everything as is because again I'm using this to tie this in with a landing page okay so the next thing you want to do is to click integrate. Now, if you're planning to um, just you know embed this into um, a landing page or um, some of that nature, and you need the code, the embed code, then this is what you want to copy. This section here where it says full embed, you want to make sure that you copy all of this. Okay, or you can do a control C, and then in the back end of your landing page. Um, uh, the landing page tool that you're using, this is where you want to drop in your code, okay? So, um, and then they also have some different options here. They have a link, so if you just wanted to put a regular link to somewhere, so maybe, I don't know, on a sidebar, maybe you've um, created an image and you just want to create a link to your form, then you can do that. Um, they also have a WordPress link here, so if you want to add a form to your WordPress blog, you can download the plugin, and then um, it's going to give you instructions on what you can do from there, and then also to Facebook. So if you have a Facebook fan page and you want to embed this form to your Facebook fan page to encourage people to sign up for your email list, then this is where you would do that, okay? So after you have pretty much, um, you know, either gotten the embed code, link, WordPress, uh, the WordPress uh, setup for the form or Facebook link, then uh, what you can do is just click save and exit. And that is pretty much it. So let's go and take a look here and let's look. Okay, so here is the form. Okay, and then this is going to be to subscribe to a list okay and this is subscribing to the uh, Yoshi Geek test email list alright so that pretty much concludes this tutorial on how to create an email list in active campaign and then also how to create a form and tie your form into your email list uh, so that wraps this tutorial up I really hope you've enjoyed it um, if you have please share this out and also please make sure that you subscribe to my channel as I'm really going to be revving it up this year with a lot of super helpful different um, tutorials for digital marketers and then also tech tutorials as well okay thank you so much for watching and I'll uh, see you around cheers